in order to survive, it's a coping mechanism, and to spend, to keep Rex's memory alive. Um, I met two other mums who'd gone through the same thing, and I um, sort of inspired them to help me um, set up a UK arm to the SUGC Foundation. Um, because although the SUGC Foundation in America is everything that we needed, it's really h hard to fundraise for an American charity. People just don't really get under the, the skin of it because they think, oh, their money's going to go to America. Um, and so by starting the foundation, we can really spread awareness, educate um, people in the UK, so that we can try and get those UK families who've experienced the same as us to come together and support each other. Because the worst thing about it is, you know, it is really unusual. I think there are 26 in the UK, in Wales, um, children to die a year. Um, but we only know 40 families, so there are so many other families out there that have lost a child that are sort of with no support, no, no support from us. It's really rare, but, but actually, out of, so one to four year olds, 26 die a year, um, that is 6% of the total deaths in that age group. So they're 400 in total, 6%, and then it's the seventh most likely cause of death in that category. So suddenly it becomes quite a lot, and it's more than um, household fires, um, drowning, traffic accidents, so actually, you think about all the, the precautions you put in place for those things, and nobody knows anything about SUDC. It's sort of time that some research, proper research, was done um, on top of what's being done at the moment at Great Ormond Street. Well, to us, it doesn't feel very rare because I keep meeting other families um, and seeing pictures of their children who look, you know, the picture of health. Um, from one article I did in um, the press, another mum from Southampton got in contact. She lost her little girl who was three and she's already just done a fundraiser and you know, raised a lot of money. And you just think that's just one family who've heard about us and are already on board. And so if we can connect with all the families in the UK, um, I think we'll be much stronger together than just on our own.